Welcome back, basketball fans. Welcome back. So the KBF playoffs are off to a good start. The Nairobi City Thunder completed a sweep on the Strathmore Blades. And on the other hand, the Swords, they led the series on the Storms. Uh, they won that game. So we'll get to that. But the Thunder will play the winner of the KPA KU series. Uh, KPA has a 1 0 lead on the KU Pirates. Game two will be at uh, KPA's home court at the Makanda Gymnasium. So, why is it that important? With the Thunder advancing to the next round, they're going to be matching up against the winner of the KPA KU series. So, that's why I mentioned it there. So, the former Kenya Basketball Federation finalists, the Ruby City Thunder, are going to the semifinals of the ongoing playoffs after sweeping. The varsity side, Strathmore Blades, 62-61 in a close game to Atenayo Gymnasium on Sunday night. So the one point means that the Sadat Gaia side, are after taking game one, will have won the best of three series. So they're going to see the next opening. Will, be, will it be KPA? Will it be KU? But the odds are saying that the defending champions are not going to lose in the first round. So, of course, they're going to meet KPA in there. So the Blades bounced to a two-point lead at the end of the first quarter, leading 18-16 before Thunder. Before the Thunder responded brilliantly in the second period, winning it 21-17 to take a 37-35 lead on the break. So the second half was a close one on the Blades as they stumbled on to a 9-point fourth quarter and initially winning the third quarter by four points. So the duo of Dismas Mbaka and Thomas Kyoko led the way for the Thunder with 13 points each, each with skipper Glyphon Legari adding up eight points, making a late tally in the second half where he scored six consecutive Thunder points. So Dennis Koja led all scores for Strathmore with 18 points with George Okoth adding up six points in another match, you know, at the same venue, the Strathmore Swords, they got up on the Storms 1 to lead the series 1-0. But we'll get to that in a minute. So the Thunder got their revenge on the Blades, who swept them in last year's playoffs, and coincidentally in the first round. So you could see it's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like reverse. You could see the, the Thunder got swept by the Blades last postseason. And it was actually... No, it's actually something that we sh we didn't even see coming, like the blade just sweeping. I was expecting it to be three games last year, but now you could see the Thunder returning the favor. So they just got their retribution in the postseason. And funny thing enough, they're meeting the first round. So the second round is gonna be interesting. Will the Thunder match up against KPA? Will the Thunder match up against KU? Which I think is highly unlikely because the defending champions they are not dropping a game. So. They more more likely they're going to match up against KPA because KPA they're known to defend home court and game two of the KPA KU series being held at KPA Makanda Gymnasium in their home turf of course they're gonna win that game so yeah so gear up for Thunder KPA series best of five but the Kutidumas completed a sweep on the UN terrace. Moving on to the semis. So the final score of the game was 76-64. The quick dispatch that the Equity Dumas, you know, um, did and took care of business with the sweep on the UN Terra showed that they meant business. And they or they didn't meant, they mean business in this postseason. And they're not playing around. The final score of the games, game one and game two against UN were just huge. And they just really stomped on the UN terrorists. So in last year's postseason, the Equity Dumas series played out all three games in the first round and coincidentally they matched up against the UN Terrace. So the Dumas won the series in three games. But in this year you can see they ended it sooner as they finished this series in two games and they made sure to sweep them. So yeah. So the biggest undoing for you know the Dumas team was blowing a two lead in a best of five series and allowing KP to come back down 3-0. Uh, to, uh, from an 0-2 deficit and winning three straight in a contro controversial uh, series ending, you know, move and KP moved on to win the finals. So looking at the way that series ended, uh, the way the season was halted last year, especially with the controversy that went around it, uh, the equity Dumas were not taking out chances. So luckily enough, you know, uh, KP are not in the same bracket as the Dumas. 
and the only time they can meet is in the finals. So the Equity Dumas did some roster retooling this season. They got in some new acquisitions they added onto their roster. And looking at the way the the way that roster is deep, I don't think no team um, I don't think they're going to drop any game. And uh, I don't think they're gonna, you know, even if they're gonna drop a game, they're not gonna, you know, lose in that fashion. You know, even losing three straight, and they only and they blowing a two uh, zero lead. So yeah, so the Equity Dumas they have advanced. So they're going to me match up again, uh, match up with the winner of the Ulinzi Eldonets series. So honestly, if you ask me. Ulinzi are going to are going to win that because they won that game out. We won that game on the road against the Alonets. They went to Eldoret. They won that game. Also covered it here on this channel. And game two will be back here in Nairobi. So Ulinzi are going to win that. So gear up for for an equity Ulinzi matchup, and it will be on for the books because you've never seen these two teams you know match up like that in a best of five series, as both teams fight for that playoff dominance you can see the Olinzi warriors are fresh off for finals appearance against kpa they lost to kpa they went the distance in five games in last year's postseason and now they're looking to go back there and the only team that is getting in the way is the the equity dumas and the equity dumas also want to make it past the semis so i mean it's a, it's a tough one but you know a lot of tough series make good playoff performances so in Dev1 news, the Snipers squad sailed through the KBF semis with a series win against the Mob squad. So, a win for the Snipers in the best of five series sees them gain promotion to the top tier league. Answer of Fuller coached the Snipers. Uh, the answer of Fuller coached Snipers became the first team in the Kenya Basketball Federation team to qualify to the semis of the ongoing playoffs after sweeping uh, M the Moi Air Base team. 2-0 in a best of three series so it's actually a good thing see mob and snipers they are like uh they're brother teams so they come from the same area code the way they operate but one had to uh suffer that <laughs> suffer that fate regardless so coming on to the series the snipers were the underdogs uh, with reference to like mob as they lost to their fellow military men in both home and away matches in the KBF Division 1 regular season, but were ranked higher. So, this article is by Mozart Sport. I'm just taking you through the article. Then, uh, talk about, um, just give my two cents on it. So, in Game 1, played on Saturday, 22 April uh, at night, of the Ofula side, the snipers overcame a slow start to run rings around the Mike Tanui coach Men, men's team and picked a 76-56 win dominating all the three quarters and subsequently taking a 1-0 lead and also they took a 2-0 lead as they won that second game 89-72 so coach Ansel of Fuller was quoted as saying we use the underdog in relation to Mab tag to our advantage in these playoffs pair in this playoff pairing having lost to them at home in a way they were confident but we had done our homework we when we went back to the regular matches and identified the problematic areas and worked on them we also got to identify a few weaknesses on their part which we exploited in the series for the win so the military side is looking to break the semis jinx and make it to the finals of the playoffs a move like that will see them gain promotion to the top tier league and they'll be playing alongside the Olenzi Warriors. So last year, the Snipers got swept by the Anu Wolfpack in the semis, halting their progress. And the way they just went out is in such an embarrassing fashion. Of course, you know, uh, the games were close at the time, but it was a sweep regardless. But this season, the Snipers are turning things around. Uh, scheduled to play the Strathmore Blades 2, who swept John Kenyatta University of Agriculture Technology Stray Cats, uh, where Fuller maintains that they, will, they have what it takes to make the final. So, where Fuller, the sniper's coach, in an interview also added on, we have lost several semifinals matchups, but we have to work on our mental toughness ahead of, ahead of this year's series. We lost to Strathmore in the first leg, but 
on the repeat encounter and that goes to show you that it will be a close encounter we will be ready so he was also quoted as saying that and this is something that is actually pretty good you can see a team that you know just went you know after getting swept by the Anna wolf pack and losing in the semis went back to the drawing board did some retooling and now they're back and they're back with the bang and they're looking to contend moving forward so yeah this is actually pretty pretty great for the snipers team as if as when they make the finals regardless of if they win or lose in the finals they'll go up a level because uh there are a couple of teams that got relegated so uh one of them being the lakeside i remember i made a video talking about you know the teams that got relegated in there also the oh and also like the, the newcomers the ZTEC titans they're gonna go down so we'll, we'll see we'll see what team is gonna you know go go up when they make the finals or even win them so yeah in other news the strathmore swords coach was not that satisfied with the team's performance despite the game one win so the strathmore swords leading 1-0 on the storms are one game away from advancing to the second round if the storms don't tie up the series and force a game three so if the swords take care of the storms in the game two won't be only be a game three but if the storms are able to bounce back and tie up the series they can be able to force a game three so game two is set to be played in may but the dates are yet to be announced so the strathmore swords got their kenya basketball federation women's league best of uh best of the playoff series off to a winning start against the storms on sunday april 23 that's yesterday so the swords picked up a 45 29 win in a low scoring encounter having to overcome an extremely slow start you know that had both sides you know uh just starting off horrible it was a five and three outcome in the first quarter and it was actually pretty embarrassing so coach Owino was quoted as saying it was a tough match we did not really play well we didn't execute well on offense we missed easy we missed easy buckets but you still managed to grind a win this being a play, being a, in a playoffs, any win is welcome, and so we'll take it. Hopefully, in game two, we'll come back and improve better, better, and play better for convincing wins. So the coach pointed out the fact that individual defense was their main undoing. So he was also he also added on, we allowed mid penetration, and penetration on the sides. Our rotation on defense and communication was almost non-existent we also missed layups under the rim and that will have given us them easy points so we need to work on that on the next match so we can close out the series storms are a good team with more experienced players than we are so we have to be careful in the next match so the coach added there so last year the Strathmore swords didn't make the playoffs but right now them they punched into the playoffs and in the playoffs every game counts so the end result can be deceiving despite the win both teams the sword and the storm started off horrible hopefully this break before game two can yield a better performance than game one this is the playoffs where the effort during the regular season are fulfilled so i mean these playoffs have started off pretty well um i'll be constantly uh tracking the these nba not these nba playoffs <laughs> i know we're in the midst of the nba playoffs and the kbf playoffs but i'll be tra i'll be releasing like you know some updates on my twitter so please be sure to follow me on my twitter the link is in the description and also for more of uh, basketball updates kbf updates please be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell because a lot of content is going to come off of this nature. And um, I'm out. Peace.